Magdalene. Dr. Stoltz. So, you're doing quick work with the mural, huh? I hope that doesn't make you sloppy. It's taking longer than I want. I still gotta do all this other shit. I should have guessed you wouldn't be able to take care of Klaus and keep your affairs in order. Hmm. I don't know if I should talk back to him or just take it, you know? Well, whatever, man. In any case, the council wants to hear what you're doing. I've been researching the early Christian history of Tassing after the Romans left. Learning how people settled in the ruins, how the abbey was founded, why our saints are so important to us. It was a lot to take in, but I've settled on my subject. And... Was this what... I think this, this one was from Father Thomas, I think? Yeah, this one was from Father Thomas. This one... I think it was from the from the ladies, from the sisters, and this one was from Elsie. Elsie. You know what? This one sounds cute, I guess. It doesn't really show any saints though. You know what, we'll just do this one. Do Bavarian settling. You might find that ignoring the saints in favor of, of such a mundane portrayal of events is unwelcome. Even so, I suppose it is an important step in the history of Tassing. Remember, the, the mural isn't for your benefit, but to make Tassing look good. Mm-hmm. Good. After this section, there's still so much work to do. I haven't even figured out how I'm going to portray the revolt. Ah, uh, yes. I imagine it poses difficulties that the other murals do not. It's a strange thing to tell a story that still lives in the hearts of so many people here. I don't think anyone wants to talk about it. They've all just locked it away. It sounds like you have your work cut out for you. I'll leave you to it then. Oh, Dr. Stoltz? Yes. Do you see someone lurking around the abbey? Or heard anything about it? I've been up to the abbey in years, and no, I haven't heard of anything like that. Why? I've seen someone following me a few times. No, I don't know anything about it. Now, if there's nothing else... Yes, oh, no, good night. Good night, Magdalene. Now I only have the final part of the mural to finish. How should I paint the revolt? Dad always talked about how the Archdeacon was the only one seeking justice in those days. But what was his name? The only name I can remember is the name of the Archdeacon who came to Tassig when that Baron was killed. Jacob Estler. Maybe he wrote an account of the revolt as an Archdeacon? I'll write to him and ask. And of course I need to write back to Esther too. I'll write to them tonight before bed. Alright, where to begin? I'll write to the Archdeacon, Jacob Esler, and see if he can tell me anything about the revolt. I'll write a letter to Esther. Hope the courier can make it through the passes before winter. Jacob Esler, former, uh, formerly Archdeacon of Freisang. My name is Magdalene Druckern. I am an artist in the town of Tassing in Upper Bavaria. I believe you passed through our community when you investigated Baron Rothvogel's murder at Kearsau Abbey in 1518. Do you remember anything about the case that the people in Tassing might not remember? Oh, do you have any reason to doubt the conclusion? I mean no disrespect, I only ask in case it might help us understand our recent past. Thank you for any help you can give. Magdalene Druckern. Dearest Esther, I hope you are well. You must know how tremendously happy I am for you and Simon. Simon? I think it's Simon. And Alicia too, of course. And your parents. It warms my heart to know that your family is doing so well. By the time this letter reaches you, I expect winter will have been enfolded tassing. It's already freezing at night, so I've reorganized the workshop so that the inks don't deteriorate. Do you have to worry about that in Prague? You said it snows, but I'm always, but I always imagine it was warmer in winter. Dad's condition is so much worse, and he's in so much pain. Doctor Stoltz has been, but well, he's been a useless asshole. Only God knows why he's such a bitter old man, but he's neglected Dad almost entirely. Some days he doesn't show up, 
And even if he does, he just snaps instructions at me and rushes off. I just wish I understood why I worry about Dad. I've asked Agnes for help, but there's only so much we can do alone. He's not going to make it, and there's nothing I can do. Christ, I'm scared, Esther. The mural is progressing well, but I can't shake the feeling that someone is following me. I keep seeing this figure around town. After I explored the mines to see Tassing's early history, and then again in the Abbey ruins. Some of the nuns say they've seen ghosts. It's the strangest thing, giving me a fright a few times already. But I don't mean to worry you. Nothing's happened to me yet, so I think I'll be good. <laughs> the only good news I can share at the moment is that the mural is almost finished. I should have it completed by Christmas, or soon after. Before the new year, at least. Then perhaps at long last I shall be able to visit you and meet this Simon. Anyway, I fear that this will be my last letter of the year. The Reich Post has already been laid and reported worsening snows through the passes. We seem to be stepping into a harsh winter. Stay warm and give my regards to your family and Simon. Yours always, Magda. How did this get here? Stop. This is just like the note Dad found. Who's doing this? I have a feeling I'm going to find out sooner or later. I need to ask Dad about this. It can't be a coincidence. But he's been so weak, I don't want to upset him. I just need to wait for the right time. I hope there is a right time. Is it gonna do the thing? It's gonna do the thing. Mistress Druckern, only one letter for you today. The pass is nigh impossible to traverse, and the heavy snow is hard is hard on the horse and me. Anyway, happy advent, my dear. Thank you. Same to you. Oh, a reply from Jacob Esler. Mistress Druckern. I do recall the rough vocal case, though it has been over a decade since I have served as an archdeacon. I am no longer associated with the office of the Prince Bishop. In fact, I am no longer associated with the Catholic Church. If you do not mind conversing with a Lutheran, I will tell you what I remember. I take no offense at your question regarding potential doubts in the case of the Baron's murder. To stand in judgment of others for so many years naturally invites doubt. As with our faith, we must learn to live with those doubts and persevere in spite of them. Even so, it seems that the more relevant a relevant question after so many years is if the architect of the murder is still at large. I recall the artist who testified, Andreas Mahler, believes someone was manipulating the would-be killers. If this is the case, a serpent has lain coiled in the bosom of your community for decades, it may lay there still. What causes the serpent to awaken every few years to stage new killing? I fear that finding the answer to that question may draw you into its reach. However, if you are determined to find the source of the trouble, I believe you must inquire with your neighbors. I urge caution in your investigation into this matter. If the serpent merely sleeps, it may be dangerous to poke into its old resting places. I hope this has been of some help to you. May God bless and keep you safe. Jacob Esler No reply from Esther this time. It must have been delayed due to the heavy snow. The postman said I won't receive any more letters until spring. I better get back to the Wrath House then. Still have more work to do. Damn! Thank you. 
Good morning, Dad. I finally caught up on the mural, and now I can start the final part today. I promise I'll get it done. Magdalene, I'm proud of you. Thank you. I'm sorry, Dr. Stoll said you can't come to the festivities tonight. I know how much you love the... The... Per Perchtenlauf. It was always next year. Right. How are you feeling? Dr. Stoltz said he would come by again today. Fine. I'm fine. You need anything? No, I'm, I'm fine. In fact, my spirits are lifted today. It's Christmas Eve after all. Mm-hmm. What's wrong? Dad, I found a note back in November. A note? What do you mean? It was like a note I found in your plans for the murals. Just a scrap of parchment. It looked like it came out of an old manuscript. Elaborate writing. Purple ink. It just said stop. You know where they came from? Who wrote them? Magdalene, I... Oh god, that must be Oates. He said he'd drop by with more firewood. If you know something, I'd like you to tell me, alright? I know I will. Can we talk about it later? Okay. I'll be back later. Good. Take care of yourself out there. Morning, Magdalene. Morning. Oh, it's cold out, isn't it? Freezing. Makes me envy Nico able to stay inside all day. Even Endris has his forge to keep him warm. Anyway, here. I brought some firewood for you and your dad. Thank you. You're welcome. So, uh, how's your dad? You think he can join everyone for Christmas Mass? I think he'll stay in bed tonight. I'll do my best to be there. I need to keep working on the mural, though. I'm working on the final section. About the peasants' revolt, right? Feels weird to talk about. It affected Tassie so much, but we were just kids. I can't remember what happened since I was just a baby. I never even knew my dad. That's what makes it difficult. I need to ask those who are already adults that night, but don't want to touch raw nerves. Mm, what if you spoke to people while everyone was preparing for the Christmas festivities? Clara sometimes talks about that night. Mom, too. He might be able to ask them. Wojtslav and Matilda are the only two Benedictines left living in Tassing. Maybe they'll talk to me. Well, I didn't think of that. Still, the mural is for Tassing, not the old Abbey. Agnes has always been in Tassing, right? I'd go see her if I were you. Dad so, uh, said she helped bury everyone who died. I wonder if she'd talk about it. It's your project, Magdalene. Might be worth a try. I wrote to the old archdeacon about it, too. He thinks that the Baron's murder and Otto's death are connected to the revolt. The who? The guy who came to tasking for the Baron Rothvogel's murder? What about him? He was the judge? I don't see how that old Baron has anything to do with the revolt. Are you feeling alright? I think you're looking for connections that aren't there. Maybe this mural project is getting to you. There's something happening. <laughs> There's like a conspiracy happening. If you're sure. I'll figure it out somehow. Thanks for the wood. See you later, Mags. Ugh. Oats is right. I should start talking to people around town. I better get started if I want to talk to everyone before perch... perch Perch ten lauf. Magdalene Druckern, I didn't expect to see you today. How's your father? He's not doing good. Oh no, I'm so sorry. He'll be in our prayers tonight. Ours as well. Now then, is there something we can help you with uh help you with, dear? I have a favor. I'll go on then, spit it out. If it isn't too much trouble, I'd like you all to recount what you remember of the revolt. I'm me I'm nearly done with my mural, but I need more details. I was so young, I don't remember much of that night. Oh, for that project of yours in the Wrath House. I'm afraid I won't have much good to say about the matter, but alright. Come sit down, Magdalene. Don't worry about helping us with the wreaths. It took me years to get the technique up to Mom's expectations, so you're better off not helping. You always did fine, Brigitte. So, Magdalene, what do you need to know about to finish this mural? 
I was hoping to ask more about the revolt. All I can remember was the flames when the abbey was burned. What part of the revolt? Revolt. The abbot starving us out of the house of house and home. Otto's murder. I doubt that would be a good painting. I thought they were, they were trying to talk it out. There was, until Otto was killed. After that, the monks shut themselves up in the abbey library. Meanwhile, that bastard abbot only ever cared for how many fennings he could get from us. Brigitte, don't forget to twist the ends in. Can't have it looking like a Christmas hedgehog. I'm getting there, Mom. I've looked, I've lo I've looked after Martin and Kraft well enough, haven't I? I can manage this. Yes, well, after your father died, I've got no one left to nag besides you and that husband of yours. Thank God I have both of you, as a matter of fact. Let an old woman have her vices. The Gurner house was a bit sad. Yorg always gets quiet this time of year. What for? I reckon because that family's been hard-pressed since Peter died. Taxing's lost a good number of folk over the years, and feast days and celebrations make it harder to bear. You mean the revolt, right? The revolt, the murders, that fool Andreas had to meddle in everything. Didn't do too much good, if you ask me. Well, I don't think any of it was really his fault. No, no, the revolt wasn't his fault alone, and I think for the most part he tried to stop it, but he'd already meddled enough in tasking after the Baron's murder that he held more sway than he knew. I could understand it the first time. He wanted to save that old monk. I dare say he saw him as a father. But poor old Otilia was killed for that crime. She might have done it too, but she was close to her end anyway. Well, no one in town liked her, so it's no wonder she was accused of murdering that stupid Baron. Then came the revolt and Andreas Mahler happened to show up nearly the day of Otto's murder. Did it accomplish anything? Well, the entire matter was horrible. Blood was a horrible, bloody mess, but did restore peace in Tassing by force. A shame it had to happen at all, I think. I knew the revolt was a bad idea from the start. Old Wojtslav would be the only one to know what happened inside the old church now, before the fire. Some like to say things were always this bad, that violence was the only way, but it wasn't. Life got worse over the years. It wasn't like this when I was a child, not in my grandparents' time either. Sure, the abbot was pinching the townsfolk and the peasants were suffering, but to go against the church? But like you said, things weren't always so bad. We fought to make things right. I mean, the monks left. The abbey might be gone, but Tassing has only traded one lord for another. The peasants were so angry over the abbot's perceived injustices, they thought they could make it right with even more injustice. Then the abbey caught fire and everyone ran, but, they, uh, but then the soldiers had arrived to stop them all. That soldier even warned Peter, but nothing would stop him besides steel. So, nothing got better at all? No, not as I see it. The Lord is just as severe as as the abbot was and threatens force at every turn. That's life. You can struggle and die to accomplish something and nothing changes. The dead are luckier. They died believing they changed something. We're stuck with the harsh reality. This is all you've known, Magdalene. You've grown used to it. We all have. Okay, thank you for sharing. It's important to share our suffering with the younger generations. Maybe they can change something. Good luck on the mural, Magdalene. Okay, bye. Hello, Magdalene. How's the mural going? I hope my husband hasn't been bothering you much about it. Has he said anything about it? Mainly he's relieved that they don't need to make a decision about the matter anymore. He runs the farm just fine, but being on the council has made him think he has a say in everything going on in Tassing. Town business is all he talks about these days. Those men are bad influences on each other, if you ask me. Now they're chattering about a yearly check of the hinges on every door in town. Hinges! Who gives a damn if the hinges on our, on our front door creak? I'm just trying to, you know, help. They do better keeping themselves in order first. Especially Werner. Anyway, I think it's good for you to be working on the mural. I wish Artemis and Apollo would take interest in something like that. Speaking of 
Now, have you seen them around anywhere? I asked them to go look after the chickens, but they've disappeared. They're catching frogs in the forest for some reason. Oh, those two. What do they even need frogs for anyway? Father Thomas says they're only so much trouble because I named them after Greek gods. He says those names have power, but I still like them. Besides, Apollo and Artemis were gods of virtues. If anything, they should be more well-behaved. Yeah, I don't think anything's really gonna stop them. You're right. Father Thomas spends too much time in his books. Anyway, I'd better uh, go find these rascals. Good luck on the mural, Magdalene. Okay, bye. Okay, we talked to her. We get to talk to uh, Wojslav and Matilda. Hello, Magdalene. I would have thought you'd be working on the mural today. What brings you here? I would like to sit with you and ask how you remember the rebellion so that I can paint it, if that's all right. Well, that was a sad time. If it will help you memorialize those we've lost in the revolt, yes, I'll answer a few questions. I don't mind. I was a little older than you, so I probably... I probably remember more, Magdalene. Of course, Magdalene will tell you all you want to know. I've been looking forward to seeing the mural for some months. Now come sit with us. Now that you're all settled, what did you want to know? Did the revolt have anything to do with the other murder that happened in Tassing? Oh, the murder of the Baron, you mean? No, not really. I only remember that Andreas attempted to be a peacekeeper in both situations. I suppose that's when things started going poorly. Oh, old Otilia. Yes, she hated the Abbey and the Baron. It was still a shock to know she could have killed the Baron, though. It was really only after the Baron's murder that the Abbot became so severe. No doubt he blamed the rebellion and faithlessness of people in Tassing. I don't know about any of that, but his taxes and restrictions and his attitude towards us became harsher after that. It was all we could do to live by them, but it eventually became too much. Even with all the restrictions, was the revolt really justified? I keep hearing conflicting stories about how it began. Agnes blames Andreas. Do you think it's true? Andreas only ever sought peace from what I remember. He took it upon himself to try and keep justice in Tassing even though it wasn't his home. Truly, it's thanks to him that we had peace for so long. We did everything we could to keep things from getting violent, but the Lord had other plans. I remember how sick and hungry I was all the time. Grandpa kept saying it hadn't always been like that. All was fine until one of the brothers killed Otto in retaliation for finding out, uh, just how corrupt the Abbey was. Well, my husband wouldn't let that rest. We all wanted justice. When the soldier arrived and threatened us, all the townsfolk pulled away except for you and Ulrich. Uh, except for you and Ulrich, Gret. No, Clara, I'm afraid even when I was intimidated and begged Ulrich to leave the matter be, my husband stood alone, oh, alone stood with the peasants. Now, why did they revolt? So many people died, they must have known it wouldn't succeed. Mm, I don't know if I'd want to tell her that. Could it have succeeded if they didn't pull away? I still think so. Most of the other townsfolk see the revolt's failure as proof that it was doomed from the start. Truly, if the entire town banded together, we likely could have succeeded without violence at all. By then, we were so starved and wanted justice so much, Peter truly thought success was possible. There was still some discussion. Ulrich and Andreas wanted peace. Then that fucking Miller protected that treasure- that- what is it? That tone sir bastard? He always hated us, though he was- thought he was better than us. Ursula, language. What, Mom? It's true. Lenhard even shot Ulrich out of nowhere. Unprovoked. <laughs> Just reminds me of that, that Katya bit. Unprovoked! Unprovoked! Yes, Lenhard always did hate the rest of the townsfolk, and he would have taken he would take advantage of anyone he could. My husband sought peace to the last. He was a martyr to us. I think the miller shot Ulrich to retaliate, but after that, Peter couldn't be stopped. We lost too much. The burning of the abbey was a grim night, and the soldiers coming in. Our men fought to protect us, to protect Tassing, and many died in that fight. But we got rid of the abbot and all the monks, at least. Yes, and that is some comfort, if only a little. 
Are there any heroes of Tassing I should memorialize? Dad, definitely. Peter always wanted the best for Tassing, even if he acted rashly by setting fire to the Abbey. I hope you can portray him in the best light, Magdalene. I'd rather not talk about that night anymore. I hope we've provided enough insight for your work. Alright, thank you. I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Magdalene. I'm certain the mural would be beautiful.